Mayor Ballard says enough is enough when it comes to panhandling. The mayor has taken the wraps off a tough new crackdown on the request for change, but it's already running into opposition. RTV6 reporter Norman Cox has the details. While Mayor Ballard praised the upgraded quality of life in Indianapolis, he said one problem has not improved and still gets big complaints from both residents and visitors. Panhandling. Ballard said that most panhandling is a racket designed to prey on the charitable instincts of Hoosiers and that a study showed most panhandlers are not homeless. He said the problem is getting worse, that some people are becoming reluctant to shop downtown and tourism officials are concerned it will drive away business. And he said he's asked police, business and homeless advocates to work on the problem. These leaders, with my support, will soon introduce an ordinance that will strengthen the regulations on panhandling in our commercial business zones. And these regulations would prohibit both aggressive and non-aggressive panhandling, like people shaking cups and holding signs. This ordinance would also expand the prohibition on panhandling outside of downtown between the hours of 5 p.m. and 8 a.m. Ballard says the proposed ordinance would also prohibit panhandling near intersections, crosswalks, building entrances, or parking meters. But Council President Maggie Lewis questions the proposed ordinance on several grounds and wants to talk about it before Ballard asks for Democratic support. What is the message? It's, it's okay to panhandle and go outside of downtown. And so, once again, I'm interested in having that conversation and really looking in to is this legal um, to focus in on a zone or not. This man says he supports the mayor and has had several run ins with panhandlers, although nothing serious. You think it scares people? I think a lot of people are probably intimidated. My, my, my stuff, not so much, but uh, yeah, but probably out of towners. And Although Ballard says the panhandling ordinance is not an attack on the homeless, some disagree. The ACLU says it's an unconstitutional attack on free speech and probably won't survive a court challenge. I'm Norman Cox, RTV6. And Ballard says this plan is modeled on successful ones already in place in cities in Florida and Texas.